fair play to Prince Harry for dropping everything and flying over to see his poor old dad, King Charles, who has revealed a shock cancer diagnosis. The King was clearly enthusiastic about the visit, delaying his helicopter flight to Sandringham. Helicopter, eh? So much for net zero. But the meeting between Charles and Harry reportedly lasted little more than half an hour. That's about as long as an episode of Coronation Street. And this right royal soap opera shows no signs of a happy ending, even if this rover has returned. Now, if your old man had received this worrying health news, would you find 30 minutes long enough to express your love? I'd be bedded in for days, making cups of tea, fetching warm blankets and reminding him ad nauseam what he means to me. But half an hour, less time than it takes to cook, to cook a Sainsbury's Chicken Kiev ready meal in the oven. And that tells you everything you need to know about the state of their relationship. And let me tell you, whilst he's been through a lot earlier in his life, and my heart goes out to him for that, these days, Harry is no victim. It's his own family, his late grandmother, the Queen, Charles, Camilla, Catherine, and most worryingly, his brother, William, who have been the real victims of the Sussexes smear campaign. And with Harry having led the attacks with money spinning books, podcasts and TV shows, it was his job this week to build bridges with his family. Now, he has seen his dad, fair enough, but why no meeting with his brother, William? If you travelled thousands of miles across the Atlantic, would you not do everything to see your only sibling, even if they've got the hump with you? I'd be banging on the front door, begging for mercy. And why hasn't Harry been to see his sister-in-law, Catherine, hospitalised for a clearly serious condition and now recuperating at home? Surely you'd be round there with a bunch of flowers, a card, a bag of grapes and a room temperature bottle of Lucozade to give her some energy. Maybe some crosswords to keep her occupied or a copy of the Daily Express. Always a cracking read. If my sister-in-law had been poorly in hospital, wild horses couldn't keep me away. Harry's blink and you'll miss it meeting with his father was matched only by his blink and you'll miss it visit to the country. 26 hours in total he spent in the UK. As strong a message if you needed it, that he can't stand the place. The contrast now between Harry and his brother William, who polling suggests is the most popular royal ahead of even his father, couldn't be more stark. At a charity event with Tom Cruise this week, it was William who looked like the big star, with Cruise, one of the most famous entertainers in the world, looking upon our future king with total admiration. Following his father's health woes, it won't be lost on William that at some point he's going to be king. And whilst we wish Charles a speedy recovery, it's likely that the gentle transfer of power begins from now, as William readies himself in the years ahead for the top job. Meanwhile, Prince Harry doesn't seem to have a job at all. And what was his rush to leave the country rather than perhaps enjoy a second visit with his old man? Well, he had to attend the NFL Honours Awards in Las Vegas, where he cracked a few jokes. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Unless you're Prince Harry, in which case we find out bloody everything. I'm really worried about the relationship between the royal brothers, Diana's beloved boys. And I wish they could come together again. But the Queen's funeral didn't bring them together. The unveiling of a bronze statue for their mother didn't bring them together. And now the diagnosis of a life-threatening illness for their father sees them miles apart, both geographically and emotionally. Now, Harry is not beyond forgiveness and the door must remain open. But I'll be honest, I fear the damage is done and that William and Harry may never reconcile. Harry's money spinning world privacies tour and his three year long moan fest may have been highly profitable. But in losing his own brother and precious time with his poorly father, the price he's paying is far higher. OK, folks, we have a developing story. This has just landed on X, formerly known as Twitter. And the palace have issued a statement. It's a personal letter from King Charles. Let me read it to you right now. He writes, I'd like to express my most heartfelt thanks for the many messages of support and good wishes I've received in recent days. The king goes on, as all of those who have been affected by cancer will know, such kind thoughts are the greatest comfort and encouragement. It's equally heartening, he writes, 
to hear how sharing my own diagnosis has helped promote public understanding and shine a light on the work of all of those organisations which support cancer patients and their families across the UK and the wider world. My lifelong admiration for their tireless care and dedication is all the greater as a result of my own personal experience. Charles R. Isn't that wonderful? Well, that's just a letter from King Charles, which has dropped. It's on Twitter as we speak. Brilliant sentiment. We do wish the king a speedy recovery. Let me get your reaction to my take at 10 and the fact that, yes, well done, Harry, for visiting his dad, but half an hour and he's back in America. Would you not still be at home looking after your old man? Let me know your thoughts, Mark, at gbnews.com. But let's hear from my top pundits, broadcasting legend David Hamilton, former government advisor Claire Pearsall, and television personality Precious Muir. Uh, David Hamilton, your reaction to Prince Harry's blink and you'll miss it appearance. Well, it was very strange, wasn't it? Nobody knows quite how long he was here. It started with 45 minutes, then it went down to 30, and somebody says that it was 12. How It certainly wasn't very long. What could his father say to him in that time? Thanks for all the lovely things you've been saying about us for the last couple of years, or don't worry about me, um, I'm fine. He certainly wasn't going to tell him what type of cancer that he had because he knew that he might, you know, blab it out to the world. So um, I, I hate to be cynical, but I feel that the trip was more for Harry than it was for his father. Well, I guess he's damned if he does and damned if he doesn't, Precious Muir. We've complained that he hasn't come to the UK in the past. He pretty much dropped everything and flew to the UK. What's the problem? I think Prince Harry can't do anything right. I think everyone's just going to always criticise him, no matter what he does. He came to see his dad. He obviously was here for the right reasons. He didn't bring Meghan because he didn't want to take the limelight or the spotlight away from what is happening with King Charles. And he did the right thing. I mean, at the end of the day, we don't even know if King Charles was able to see him longer than 30 minutes. Mm. So we have to understand that he is unwell. And he might have said to Prince Harry, you know what, I can only manage 30 minutes or 45 minutes or an hour right now. And I need to get back home and I need to rest. We just don't know the real story. So for us to keep going in mm. on Prince Harry, it's not right and it's not the thing to do because at the moment we're losing the message. The message is King Charles is un unwell and he's not well and we need to support that. Claire Pearsall, Mark Dolan tonight is the home of diverse opinion. Precious disagrees with what I've had to say. What's your view? I, d I mean, I do think Precious has a point with this, is that uh, King Charles has had a diagnosis of cancer. None of us know what treatment he's under. We don't know what his health is like at the moment. He may well have been told, don't be surrounded by people for infection reasons. I think so. that Prince Harry... Yes, he should have come over, and he did, and he made the journey, so I think he should be welcomed. If he hadn't, then we would have all been criticising him for that. So I think that it really is a family matter. None of us know what has been said to the king, none of us know what his treatment plan is, and none of us Claire, know what the conversation Claire. between Harry and the king actually was. Claire, you're being much too <laughs> circumspect. You've gone terribly woke on this. I mean, the <laughs> bottom line is, if this was your old man, Claire Pearsall, and you lived in America, you'd be back in the UK, you'd be here for weeks on end. You wouldn't spend 26 hours in the country. I take the point that visits to the king might be time limited, but I'd still be in Britain and it would be a struggle to get me home again. Well, that's a, that's a matter for you and your family. I think that my father probably wouldn't want me hanging around. Um, my level of sympathy isn't that great. And anyone who knows me knows that I'm not really good on that kind of stuff. And I would be there to offer some funny comments and, yeah, the bottle of Lucozade. But it's entirely up to that person if they wanted you around. And, yes, I probably would have stayed longer than 26 hours. But you also don't want to outstay your welcome if somebody is poorly. Exactly. So I think, you know, we really have to let that family deal with their rules under their circumstances. I think, yeah. just I think when people behave, behave badly, you, you tend to feel very doubtful about things that they do and they say. And these two have had such a track record. And really, to be honest, uh, they've been made an absolute 
pig's ear of, of everything they've done since they left this country. So I think know, they've done the right cynical, thing to no leaving. Wonder. I think it's right that they left because they had to take themselves away from the, the situation that wasn't really going anywhere. I mean, obviously, there was just things that needed to be said. They said it on Oprah's show, and now it's aired. Now they need to move past it. I mean, when it comes to sickness, I think everything goes from there. Like, you need to be by your family, by your, support your family and by their side, and have he was. I don't care about the time. He actually okay. was there. He was present and he made the effort. And I think that's what we all need him to do. So that's, yeah. Should Harry still be in Britain looking after his old man? Let me know your thoughts, Mark, at gbnews.com. Or are we being too hard on the prodigal prince? At